from Studio 113 in Walson Hall. This is NBC News. Hi, and welcome to NBC News. I'm Katie Mitchell. And I'm Will Siegel. So, Will, how is it going today? Great. Um, registration just came up, and I got a lot of great classes for next semester. How'd your registration process yeah, go? Yeah, it worked out really well. It's always very stressful, but... I think I got everything I need. How about you? What are you taking? Me too. I'm taking a lot of great classes. Yeah? I'm actually taking Hip Hop 1, so. Oh my gosh, so am I. Really? Are we going to be in the same class? I think so. There's only one section, so. I'm so excited to see you bust a move. Yeah, I got the move, so. <laughs> Katie, what's with the news? Would love to tell you. Muhlenberg will be hosting Active Minds Send Silence Packing to help represent the number of students who are lost each year due to suicides. Active Minds Send Silence Packaging is a nationally recognized public education exhibit that includes 1,100 backpacks, the number of students who die by suicide each year. This exhibit is meant to promote a healthy and open dialogue around mental illness. The exhibit will be on display Thursday, April 16th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the front lawn. In case of rain, it will be displayed in the Seegers Union event space. It is free and open to the public, so be sure to check it out. Muhlenberg has just received a grant from the National Science Foundation. This grant will support scholars in math and science, a program to improve recruitment and retention of students in the biological sciences. With this grant, Muhlenberg College hopes to recruit students from underrepresented groups and prepare them for leadership roles in STEM fields upon graduation. James Peck, professor of theater arts and affiliate faculty in the Africana Studies program, has been named Associate Dean for Diversity Initiatives. This new title comes from the recommendations of the Diversity Strategic Planning Committee. As the Associate Dean for Diversity Studies, Peck will be responsible for recruiting and retaining a diverse faculty and for strengthening the teachings about diversity. Prior to this, Peck was the chair for the Department of Theater and Dance from 2006 to 2013. Muhlenberg College of Theater and Dance has several performances going up in the last few weeks. One of the last dance shows of the semester, Dance Emerge, will run from April 16th to April 18th. Dance Emerge showcases the talents of young choreographers and includes some of the most innovative and imaginative performances. Don't miss a weekend full of dances that explore themes of society and life. Next, we have the theater department's production of Romeo and Juliet, which runs from April 22nd to April 26th in the Studio Theater. Directed by Troy Dwyer, he brings a new adaptation to the stage of this Shakespeare tragic love story. Inspiration was taken from the ongoing conversation surrounding Michael Brown and Ferguson, Eric Garner in New York, and other black men and women throughout the U.S. It is sure to be a success. And finally, the circus is coming to town. The Muhlenberg Circus Workshop presents Atlas, which is a performance that combines the talents of aerialists, acrobats, jugglers, dancers, actors, and more. Go immerse yourself in the circus April 24th through 25th. Tickets for these performances can be purchased online or at the box office. That's all for news. Now to Will with the sports. Thanks, Katie. The Muhlenberg women's lacrosse topped McDaniel at Scotty Wood Stadium 17-9 as the team had their annual fundraiser in support of the Wounded Warriors Foundation. The men's lacrosse team fell on their senior day, losing to McDaniel at a score of 8-14 as Coach Bissinger and the Mules are coming off of a seven-game losing streak with a game this coming weekend against their sinus. The Muhlenberg tennis team had a dual match as both the women's and the men's team crushed McDaniel this Saturday as they also had their senior day honoring some great Muhlenberg athletes. The men's baseball team has had a busy week as they have games every day this week except Wednesday. The Mules are coming off of a win against Swarthmore as they won away 6-4. The Muhlenberg women's softball team has won three games in a row after taking Dickinson to a 5-4 win against our bitter rivals. The Muhlenberg baseball team has their sinus and King's College in their upcoming matchups. Good luck, Mules. And now, to Katie with the weather. Thanks, guys. I'm Katie here with the weather for NBC News. On Thursday, partly cloudy, high of 67, low of 50, 0% chance of rain. On Friday, we've got a high of 68, low of 49, but 90% chance of showers. On Saturday, sunny, high of 74, low of 46, 0% chance of rain. And on Sunday, partly cloudy, High of 64, low of 48, 10% chance of rain. On Monday, we've got 90% chance of showers, high of 56, low of 51. 
On Tuesday, 40% chance of showers, high of 63, low of 43. On Wednesday, mostly cloudy, the rain is clearing up because there's a high of 60, low of 44, and a 10% chance of rain. Thank you so much. I'm Katie here with the NBC Weather. Now back to you guys. Thanks for the weather, Katie. That's all for NBC News. I'm Will Siegel. And I'm Katie Mitchell. Thanks for watching.